This episode of Ties I Help was brought to you by Lynda.com. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review on the Pebble smartwatch. So the Pebble smartwatch is a watch that connects via Bluetooth to your Android or your iOS device so you can get things like notifications right on the watch and of course you can see the time on it because it's a watch. So like I said in this video I'm going to be doing my review on it uh, so let's go ahead and start off with the hardware and design. As you see I have the Black Pebble watch uh, which is the only one that's sold in stores currently as far as I know. Uh, they also have a red and a silver version online so it comes in three colors total. The watch itself comes in a plastic casing and has a small 144 by 168 pixel black and white e-paper display. And since it is an e-paper display it works great outside in the sunlight or indoors even in low light. The watch has a total of four buttons, three on the right side, one for going up, one for going down, and then the one in the middle for selecting. And then on the left side of the watch, there's the back button, uh, which will make you go back through the menus. Also on the left side is the spot to connect the charger, which magnetically snaps to the watch, uh, so you can charge it. And the actual strap of the watch is made out of rubber, which is pretty comfortable, uh, and has plenty of holes so you can change the size and the fit of the watch so it'll fit around your wrist. Personally for me, it's like it's either too tight or too loose, even though there's plenty of different hole sizes, it's like there, I need to be right in the middle of two of them. But uh, maybe it's just me and maybe it's just my wrist. And the watch is waterproof so if you want to get in the shower or go for a swim you don't have to take the watch off. Now inside the watch you'll find Bluetooth 2.1 and 4.0 as well as a vibrating motor and a three axis accelerometer. And as far as battery life they say it'll last about five days. I actually got a little bit longer than that so you're probably only going to have to charge this thing about once a week. Now to start out using the Pebble watch and get it set up you've got to download the Pebble app from the app store on your smartphone and once you have it downloaded you connect to it via Bluetooth and you're ready to go. The Pebble app on your smartphone you'll use to download different things like watch faces and different little apps and games for the watch as well as software updates and it does this all over the air uh, via Bluetooth. Like I said there's different watch faces to give you a different way of viewing and reading the time on your Pebble. Uh, personally I like the big time uh, watch face just because it's the biggest and easiest to read. They also have like a tic tac talk one uh, and then a word one uh, and then also like a one that actually looks like a clock. Lots of different things to choose from so you get a variety. And there's also a few simple games, one of those being Snake, which I played for like 15 minutes procrastinating before I filmed this video. One of the cool features the Pebble Smartwatch has is the ability to control your music on your phone. So you can skip forwards and backwards through your songs as well as pause and play your music uh, right from the watch without having to touch your phone at all. It can be in your pocket or you can be in the shower listening to it uh, or you can, like I do, uh, use Bluetooth in your car radio uh, and then you just control it right here from your watch rather than having to look and touch your phone. Now the best part about this watch is you can get pretty much every notification from your phone right on your smartwatch, whether it's a text message or a phone call uh, or an email or a Facebook message, Twitter, uh, and lots of others. If you get a text message on your phone, it pops right up on the Pebble smartwatch so you can read and scroll through it. Unfortunately, you can't actually reply back to it on the watch, which really stinks. That would make it so much more cooler. Uh, for me, this isn't really that helpful because if I get a text message, my phone's normally right on me in my pocket or sitting right beside me and I'm probably going to want to reply to it if I see it anyway so I'm going to end up getting my phone out but it is cool if you don't have your phone near you if it's in another room or something like that or you're in the shower and you want a text message and it pops up and you can read it but again you can't reply back. Another cool thing with the notifications is if you get a phone call you can actually answer or ignore it. Uh, it's cool about the ignoring part but I don't really see the point of answering it from right here if you're going to have to take your phone out and pick it up anyways because you're going to be touching your phone and all you have to do is hit answer on that. It's kind of actually just easier to do that rather than going like this and then going like this. Another little feature the watch has is the ability to set an alarm. Uh, so when you set the alarm, it'll go off, it'll vibrate and let you know hey, your alarm is going off. And now for my final thoughts on the Pebble smartwatch. Since I've had the Pebble smartwatch, I haven't really worn it that much. Uh, maybe it's just because it's not really comfortable for me and I want to take it off after wearing it for a short period of time. Or maybe it's just because I don't really need a watch and I don't really use many of the features of it. Uh, but either way, I just haven't been using the Pebble smartwatch as much as I would 
hope I would. I mean, it is a nice watch, but I wouldn't really call it a smartwatch. It doesn't have that many amazing features compared to a normal watch. You can just get notifications and control your music. That's about it. Now, Pebble did open up the SDK so anybody can develop apps for the watch. So I'm sure there's gonna be some like cool stuff coming in the future, but as of right now, there's just not that much stuff on it. The best thing is pretty much playing Snake. And I guess it is nice to see your notifications, but for me, I only like want to see notifications for like phone calls and text messages. And without the ability to actually reply or talk to somebody with the watch, it's not really that useful for me. But I do like the concept and the idea, and it gives me hope for what's gonna come in the future, maybe from Apple uh, when they do their smartwatch, or maybe even Samsung or Google. Uh, it just gets me excited because I know this could be really cool. It's just right now it's lacking on features. Now as far as the price, the Pebble smartwatch cost 150 bucks, which I really don't think is that bad, uh, especially for a watch. You can easily pay 150 bucks for a nice watch. Uh, so if you want a watch with a little bit more features and gonna give you notifications and be able to control music and stuff like that, I think it's a pretty good price, but if you're looking for a smartwatch, I would say hold off for a year or two until Apple and some of the other companies release theirs. Now before we head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video. You can learn it at Lynda.com, an online learning company with over 77,000 video tutorials that teach you software, creative, and business skills. Membership start at just $25 per month and provide unlimited 24-7 access to top quality video courses taught by expert instructors with real world experience. Experience. And you can learn anywhere, anytime, and at your own pace. They've got everything from bite-sized tutorials to comprehensive courses in web design, programming, design, photography, business, audio and video, and 3D and animation. With new courses being added every week, their training library keeps pace with today's fast-changing technical and software skills. You can save and prioritize your courses in your queue for when you're ready to watch, and you can track your progress in each. And you can even learn on the go with their optimized mobile site or their iPhone phone and iPad app for members. So if you want to check it out, you can go to lynda.com slash ties I help and you'll get seven days free. Again, their URL is lynda.com slash ties I help. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Pebble smartwatch. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Are you going to get it? Have you got it? And what are your hopes for the future of the smartwatch? If you enjoyed this video, click the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Follow me on all my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google+. All the links are down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.